I'm working for a publishing company. A physical education teacher. Body work. I'm a physiotherapist. So. Also, do say rumba kashton na ne. So, salam much. Kids, okay. So, work life balance, maybe balance. Yeah, managing kids. Traveling in traffic. Work life. Nee, all vele customer da. Daily basis na morning samay pande da rumba customer. Ella mande prepare pane. Rumba ne prepare da. Samane wale. So do you guys understand the context here? Why are these women talking about what they do every day and what are the difficulties that they face on a daily basis? No? Okay. Before we go into that, is everybody comfortable? Yes, all cool. The weather, the AC, all cool. Yeah, because imagine having a warm cup of tea, or or some microwave soup. Man, that gives me warmth. It's very soothing, isn't it? Ever wondered? We put food inside the microwave. Yes, to warm it up. I don't know if it's just me or something, but what if we put something else inside? What if we put something alive instead? What do you say? A duckling, a chicken. Well, the results would be pretty obvious. Every structure of life loses its moisture and dries up eventually. Gosh, this is gory. Yes. You know what? Let's make it gorier. What if we put a whole human inside a life-sized, constantly running microwave oven, where you can just open the door and walk right in? Okay, that is too hot for me. I know no one would be stupid enough to do such a thing, but imagine what would happen. Surprisingly, you might survive for about 30 seconds or so inside a constantly running microwave. Definitely not more than that. The thing is, even if you had survived the 30 seconds, it would be of pure pain and agony. And of course, I'm sorry, your drums. a lot of screaming your eyeballs would probably be fried as they hold a lot of water and so would the insides of your mouth and you might be paralyzed because your muscles proteins are damaged but on a positive note your internal organs and blood would still be intact and you'll probably be blind but alive damaged yes but alive you might be asking me why so dark in the beginning man well That explains me. Hello, this is Jasmita Dayalan, a 12th grader from Kerala Public School, Chennai, India. You might be wondering, why is this girl even talking about microwave ovens and all these gory things, and puts a random video in the beginning? Well, hold up, I do have the answer. Now, imagine a brand new, shiny, modern microwave oven. Cool. Now imagine your beautiful mother. Are there any similarities between them? I don't put the kitchen jokes. Our mothers are way better than that. And yes, they do have the same starting letter. But what else? No. Okay. Let me tell you there are similarities. But before we go into that, let me tell you how this thought struck my mind. We all know our shower thoughts are very powerful, and we don't know what it leads to. Supercars, airplanes, helicopters, satellites. were all a shower thought once an idea so this is going to be me thinking out loud on a shower thought now imagine teenagers after school promise me who keeps their shoe in their shoe racks well i don't and i think most of you guys won't either if you guys might be it's it's okay well we are teenagers and that's what we do but our mothers no they'll make us do things right from keeping our shoes in our shoe racks and talking to us and taking us out and managing the financial matters and taking care of the family taking care of them taking care of their parents oh, let me take a break oh wait i just realized 
she never took one so this brings few things so there was this one time where i went for an inter school competition and i was in need of internet services so i bought my phone but right when we were about to leave for the competition my phone malfunctioned and it did not turn on as a little kid i am i panicked and i cried so i called my mother with the help of my teacher's phone and i said mummy the phone's not working <laughs> I did not even touch it. Mommy, I promise. Take me back home. I think I'm going to miss the soup. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite dramatic. I'm very dramatic. I like soup. But this was her response. She was like, oh, "Don't embarrass yourself. You practice at home, right? You'll do it better. Don't worry. Practice at home. If you need charger, I'll come and bring it to you. Okay? Don't worry. Don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> Somehow." this sternness sternness in her voice brought myself back brought back the dramatic self that i am i did not get the charger i'm sorry and not only that she is also you know very strict she is very strict about my studies she thinks that my education should be my first priority not that i do so keeping that aside and also she is sarcastic i guess don't understand she is very sarcastic Okay, for an example, you ask biryani to your mother. What would any mother say? Yes. No. Some other day, child. You know what my mom said? She asked me to pick up an eraser. Ask for biryani. Well, I was confused at first, also. So I picked up because she asked me to. So I picked up an eraser, and she said, "Very good. Now rub that thought off your mind." <laughs> I was bamboozled, bamboozled. Now that I think of it, it's very funny. Few of you guys might not find it funny because it's my mother and not yours. And this is what it is. Our mothers are filled with surprises, just like the famous line from the famous movie called Forrest Gump. Life was like a box of chocolates, and you don't know what you're gonna get. Our mothers are the box of chocolates. You don't know what flavor chocolate you're gonna get today, but you definitely know. it is going to be good for us and we also know we can come back to it any day all these surprise elements make our parents very strong through us adapting to all those situations yes they are awesome aren't they and all these thoughts of superhuman being uh, superhumans having superpowers are very exciting and this is where i introduce mother on batteries it might sound like a paradox or a fusion of two entirely unrelated concepts but stick with me friends because i assure you that the relativity or the similarity between mothers and microwave ovens will become clear okay stick with me so now picture eyes a mother powered by batteries sounds like a superhero update doesn't it we all know moms possess an incredible amount of energy but what if we could take it up a notch and equip them with batteries i mean think about the possibilities we could juggle even more tasks and solve calculus within seconds and do other chores with our eyes closed and you know what they also possess superhuman abilities without the need of additional power source and they could multitask like nobody's business man handling screaming children burnt dosas and constantly ringing door delivery persons i mean yeah why do they ring all the time and also they have an endless supply of hugs kisses and wisdom that makes the world a better place but again imagine what if our mothers were remained on that trees they could come up with ultimate backup plan for all those moments and you know what this gave me the idea of cyborgs cyborgs are an entity made up of both biological and technical elements in which they are integrally attached who is a cyborg iron man is a cyborg okay to be very simple this is a person yes jasmita and this is rafi pratik's robot so if we okay he might get angry so don't tell him this please if we cut its leg off and attach it to mine then i am a cyborg yes i am a cyborg even just imagining about it makes me very excited what if we could normalize cyborgs in our world i mean why buy bicycles and learn to ride when you can turn yourself into a bicycle 
and why wear glasses when your eyes can scan or even do x-rays and store them inside your brain. Fascinating, ain't it? Philosophers like Nick Bostrom and David Pierce have found a school of thought called transhumanism. Transhumanism is a theory or a belief which shows that the human race could evolve beyond the physical and mental limitations that they have right now with the help of science and technology. Being composed of both organic system, that is us humans, and artificial system, the machine and the robots, in which there is feedback control, where the artificial system closely mimicking the behavior of us humans' organic system. You know what? I think all of us would have seen at least one cyborg. Because at some point in life, we would have seen at least one person with pacemakers inside their hearts. Yes? You know what? Let me tell you, they are cyborgs. They are real life, walking on the road, cyborgs. When we talk about cyborgs, it's not really Iron Man everywhere. There are little, little technical things that are implemented inside our bodies to help us work better. Just like Iron Man ha has his R key reactor, doesn't it? Yes. So I thought, what if our mothers could achieve this? Just as a battery, as an addition, and a to a big upgrade like cyborg, a small mechanical upgrade to a big upgrade like Iron Man. What would, what if our mothers could attain this? So the flashes of cyborgs I had were cyborg from Teen Titans, obviously, and Frankie from One Piece, and drums roll. Your mama. <laughs> When I asked my mama what would she do if she were a cyborg, she told me that she wanted it an attachment or a mechanical upgrade which makes her do various things at the same time. Hold up, I was taken back. Because she already does that, so why would she need that again? I was very confused. So I thought, why not ask all the mothers this? And that's why I showed you guys the video in the first place, to understand them, to understand uh, the difficulties, difficulties that they face on, a, face on a daily basis. And I also asked them what would they do if they were a cyborg? What is that one mechanical upgrade that they would get to manage their difficulties? Let's look at their answers. We need Four hands. Four hands. Then I can't have it. I want my like the childhood days back. Time travel. So that after puri hola, na ma, na ma kita na erko po. Iron Man suit. I am a traffic about open for another very far on the Matana Mudio. Cooking Lena in a water could be called with the Indian among the joint family. I come from Bakasto. As a mother, as a co worker, as a colleague. That is very much interested which I'm into, but I don't feel it is a difficult. But if at if at all co co helper, we have twenty times to do in an hour. We can't remember it. A lot of mothers who need an entire new companion to support their difficulties. I think this shows a lot of things that we don't see on, see on a daily basis. After listening to all these answers, I immediately knew that microwave ovens and mothers are very similar, the same. They keep running, they keep running round and round. Just as a microwave needs electrical energy, our mothers need energy, power. And I personally think that the love we show to them, the love that you express, is their energy. They keep running round and round. They need so many attachments. They want to do the most that they can. But you know what's the only difference is? Microwave oven needs energy to work. But our mothers 
generate energy to work for them, to work for us, to work for the family, and who not? <laughs> this sudden urge of praising my mother led to me writing something. Something small, something not so grand, something wholesome. Would you guys like to feast your ears with the voice of mine? Yes? Thank you. So it goes like, I wrote this myself, so let's see if you guys like it. Yes? There was a mummy who called me dummy. She was a big bomb, wrapped in a sari. Have you ever died? The depths of your desires. You wanna go swimming or gliding or skiing. We can do anything and just stop thinking. Hate staining, love tattoo. You are my word shoe. Hey, mama, it's okay to slow down. Slow down to build your own atomic bomb. Fighting all your cons. Not this just done here, we still have a verse left. And this is to my mother. You're more than all the food you make, you're more than all the chores you do. Look into your heart and you find love, 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 love. The shine you emit is not cause you're a diamond, it's cause you're a shining armor. It's like a for second right to be loved, 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 loved. Oh, hey, mama, it's okay to slow down, slow down to build your own atomic bomb, fighting all your cons. And this ends here. And why don't we say, I love you, mother, what often? This is Jasmita signing off. Thank you.